My name is Chong, J-U-N-G. Chong is my family name. Hey, good morning guys from South Korea. Today we'll be embarking on a very unique journey. We are going to the DMZ. Now, if you're not familiar, we are heading to the DMZ, which is called the Demilitarized Zone. And it's gonna be a more educational video of letting you guys know what happened with Korea. Because before Korea used to be one country before the Korean War in 1950, ended in 1953, and the result of that was the DMZ. So I joined a tour with Get Your Guy, and this is the first time for me. I don't normally join tours, but this is actually one you need to actually check out. So if you're interested in this tour, I'll put a link in the description below. This tour is about seven hours. They picked me up from a location very near to where I'm staying. It's also time sensitive too. I don't really have the freedom to go in and out of where I need to be. With that being said, guys, sit tight, get some food, and uh, enjoy the video. We're at like this meeting point here where we have a very small window of things to check out around here and after that we have to meet up at our bus at 9 15 on the dot and if we miss that bus that's it for the next seven hours we're stuck here so in order to not get lost she gave us one of these things and a bus number that we came with i tried recording earlier on the actual bus on our way here and she was just not having it i think she's camera shy but it's okay, we're gonna get, get through this without it. So right here is a very important piece in this entire area, and I'm gonna explain why. This monument is dedicated to the families that were separated during the war. There's over 10,000 families still separated since the Korean War. So this monument is a dedication to them. Even till today, there's families that have not reunited since the war so it's a very very sad story and a lot of them come here to pay tributes um, a lot of them can't really cross over anymore a lot of them don't even know where their families are or if they're still alive so they come here to pay tribute some of them even take a shadow bus over to the uh, cow bridge i'll talk about that later but this is one of the monuments here very beautiful monument dedicated to the lost families that are separated during the war right here's another important piece of the history here you have a lot of pictures of the families mourning the ones that separated from their families through the war they come here to kind of pay tribute these are the caves that they hand made caves that they created and they're really crazy we're gonna see those later today and this man's also very important because he created the this guy is the is the uh, creator of the Hyundai I think it's Hyundai and the reason why there's a cow in here because he has like a bridge he created to like a cow bridge or something like that. He crossed over with like a thousand cows. So this guy is really important too. But yeah, you can see right here, paying tributes. Yeah, and this is the JSA. It's currently closed from, I think it's a very popular picture between the North and South. Of Okay, it's a little confusing, but this bridge I'm on is the Freedom Bridge. It's this old wooden thing that I'm standing on right now. And it's for that reason, it's called the Freedom Bridge, is because during the war, on both ends, north and south, they had their prisoners, Korean prisoners. And for that reason, when they came to Freedom Bridge, they would release them. You know, they had their issues, but once they come to the bridge, hey, you're free to go. You go to your end, we go to our end. And uh, that's more history behind it here. Okay, that general area is pretty much all we can show you right now. There's only a little bit of time left. I want to see if I can get some breakfast before we start our day. Because we have to leave at like 9.15 in like 10-15 minutes. So let's see what kind of food that they have over here. This, this area is really unique. Always best to stock up before a long half day tour. What we got is like Boston Burger over here. I never heard of that. Um, some more Korean restaurants. If there's, Oh, he's eating something pretty good. What is that? Yummy. Okay. Uh, pretty much just try to look for some snacks, water, fruits, nothing too crazy. Something that can hold you throughout the day and that'll be my goal. Oh yeah, one last thing. They're going to take your passports at the initial beginning of this trip, but that's just to get your your uh, ticket sent through the DMZ. At the very end, when we head back over there, they're going to give our passports back and we'll be on our way out. A lot 
has happened that I just can't film. So let me start off by saying we crossed a bridge called like Cal Bridge and we had to get checked in through South Korean uh, military. These are much younger guys, so they can't be on camera. <laughs> this small town has about 450 people living here and these are the people that are separated from the families in the north. It's a fully functional town. They have an elementary school, but not a middle school or high school. I learned that to get further education, they have to go back to the city for that. It gets even crazier. I can't, I can't even record any of this. So we learned about the tunnels that you, the North Korea used to infiltrate the South during the war. No, this was after. So after the DMZ was created, which was like a peace, peace agreement between the UN, North Korea still created tunnels, about four of them, after DMZ to infiltrate South Korea. So we were able to go to those tunnels right then and there and get a live experience of that. With learning about the tunnels that the North used to invade South Korea or even attempted, South Korea infiltrated and caught four of them. They still don't know how many more that they have. With that being said, they were able to give us a first-hand experience of the tunnels and it goes 76 meters below. There wasn't much time to really explore that area. There was only so much information given, but now we get to see North Korea from afar. to see but right behind me is North Korea and if you look at a distant part of it like right back back there you can see the South Korean flag and even further you can see the North Korean flag and there's a little funny story behind this there's like a flag tug of war going on North Korea like probably had theirs at some length South Korea had theirs at some length and then the next year South Korea North Korea had theirs higher and the next one higher than that uh, and they're kind of like doing a tug of war between each two and at some point South Korea was like, you know what, bro? You got it <laughs> And North Korea's flag is much taller now, but it's all the way back there It's so faint you can't really see it with this lens But with all this knowledge that I've learned today of North Korea South Korea and their wars and peace and all that It is kind of sad when you think about it. I really f feel bad for the people, you know in, in North Korea and the ones that escaped I think even anyone that has a story escaping from North Korea is has a voice and is very powerful but I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Truman Show you can kind of it's very similar to North Korea you, like you have really no control of your life you're constantly being monitored there's no internet there's no rights or anything like that and it's it's just really sad at the same time when you hear it when you think about it what really got me today was just the ones that are able to escape from North Korea and kind of, find a, kind of find solitude in the South, but they could never see their family members again, or they don't even know if they're still alive, really just hit home right here, man, because sometimes you think your life is hard, but you don't know who the next person has it even worse. But yeah, this tour brought us to this high-rise. There's a theater downstairs for more information on it, and you can look at North Korea from one of these telescopes up here. I'm going to try and see if I can look at them right now, but everything's completely full. You can look at one over here, too. Really interesting. Okay, so you used Google to translate that and it said Dora Observatory. Oh, I think it's so bright that I can't get it here. Uh, maybe. <laughs> there you go. This school now from first to sixth grade. It was only. And I keep looking to the left side, everybody. You can see the entrance of the bunker, underground bunker here, everybody. Okay, here, bunker, underground bunker, entrance of the bunker, bunker, bunker. Okay, so it looks very small, but I heard that underground is very big. Because if they are attacked by North Korean people, again, 450 residents 
have to go into the bunker together with emergency food. That's why I heard the underground is for everything, okay? But no shops at all, right? That's why even they do food shopping in the local supermarket where we're going now. That's why you can see some ice cream, snacks, and organic food in the supermarket here. The DMZ tour is over. I'm back at where I'm staying, but I kind of want to talk about the very last point of the tour. Remember I mentioned earlier about a village of 450 people? Well, they actually showed it to us in the very end of the tour, and we did a small detour of the area. You get to see what the houses look like. Some of them are living pretty good. Some of them are living okay. And there's one that was really living very well. We also got to see the elementary school too. It's like yellow, can't miss it. The only school in the whole area. And then we ended off at a kind of gift shop, grocery store type of thing. You can buy whatever you want. And we came back and now I'm back at my place. So if you guys are interested in this tour, let me know in the comments below. I'll put a link in the description below so you can have access to this tour. The lady was super phenomenal, very funny. I think she did a great job of really handling the situation and all of us and taking us to a very, um, a very interesting space within Korea. So I'm gonna head out, guys. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get something to eat. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you're not, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. If you're not. It's all good. I'll see you guys in my next video, guys. Take it easy.